What is up, everybody? Keith from Board State here. Welcome. If you don't know us by now, you can check us out at BoardState.com. Says so under the camera. Ooh, right now. Uh, all sorts of social medias. Same name, Board State, including Twitch. You can sit there and watch me play games to your heart's content. Uh, but you don't have to. You don't have to do anything. Just sit there and enjoy this. I know you're watching this on YouTube, so... Uh, today... We are running through human control. Uh, the reason being is that you are running Hero of Precinct 1. You're hoping to go wide, wider than the opponent. Um, you do have a couple extra creatures in the deck, being Baneslayer, Angel, Elite, Guildmage, and Atrice. Uh, but for the most part, you are winning through going wide. I actually end up winning a, a fair amount of games with, um, with Ashiok, so... Even as a one-off, it does come in handy. Um, but in the for best of three, uh, I actually wanted to change the side up uh, sideboard up just a bit, um, which is tough because the sideboard is, especially these cards right here. You're, you're trying to do uh, favor your mashup uh, matchup against mashup your matchup against control. which is one of the tougher ones, uh, but main deck, you do have Thought Erasures, you do have Narset, and of course you have Teferi, so if you can get yours down first and you can start casting spells without uh, fear of countering. Uh, but yeah, you in, in main deck and you have a fair game against uh, Big Red, you can gain you gain a fair amount of life with um, both of Kaya and the Elite Guild Mage get some life back here through the Bane Slayer, and you can get it all back with Elspeth Conquers Death if things happen to go awry. And you may lose life uh, from your own spells, because um, you're going to be putting some lands into play that might deal some damage, and or you may not have a human when you cast Dire Tactics. Uh, but other than that, I think the, the deck is self-explanatory. You're only running two Fabled Passages, uh, because you have a low amount of basics in your most likely going to be drawing half of those basics uh, throughout the game, so having only two Fable Passage is a decent amount, but I want to try to get a Spyglass up in this because I think it is a worthwhile card. My only problem is is maybe the Gust. I mean, this is for um, the uh, the green red deck, say with uh, the adventure mode card, you got like eight adventure mode cards, and you've got the the innkeeper that draws cards, and then of course um, it's a green, so you can you can put it in against uh, Sultai Ramp. So, but you also you also have this. I honestly think I would rather have one dispute. Or sorry, one, uh, two of those, and put in a spyglass, and then also getting rid of one dispute and putting in that counter spell that um, counters a an ability. I forgot the name of that, but I'm not going to be running best of three just now. I'm going to be jumping into best of one so I can jam some a lot of games. I want to jam at least three. And it happened to me again. This is my second time recording this video. Um, the first time, you just got to see me and hear my voice and hear the game. You just didn't get to see the game. And I had a really, really good game. One against Control and one against a Mono Green deck. The Mono Green deck was actually the, the more interesting game, even though I was able to handedly beat control. They ended up not drawing a board wipe. One, two, three. I think we'll draw a land. Right now we are fine. We've got four. And by the time we get to turn number five, this is... Oh, this is that... Uh, 
So there's going to be, what's it called? The uh, Gates of Blaze? Oh, coming out, the Gates of Blaze. Uh, nothing, I'm, I'm just going to play it out. Nothing I can do except for draw a veto. Yeah, if this is the uh, Shrine's deck, they're not going to have um, spot removal, I think, game one. They're just going to have uh, some Gates of Blaze. Come on, land. Ooh, two unknowns. I was, I'm looking for... Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Or actually, I don't see any gates. Never mind. I don't know what I'm playing against. I'm actually kind of scared to run out uh, this guy. Well, that's nice. Got a token creator. And sadly, we can't cover that up. So it's kind of like our, our fun has now has now ended. And you don't... I don't want to return that to their hands. If, if they were at zero, sure. Ugh, that is disappointing. That is disappointing. Um, do I want both of these? I kind of do. I want to draw that next turn. And I can't attack with anything. If they send it. Alright. Well, sadly, we didn't draw a Narset. That would have helped. Wow. All right, let's get rid of that card. Let's get that to the bottom. AKA the pit. Let's just keep getting in there. The opponent's going to rip a shit ton of lands from their deck. Oh, got another blocker. That's too bad. Jam this out there. What are the other ones? Man, I really want to know. We got one removal spell versus who knows what. Let's take the two. All right. All right, sis. Hmm. Let's just fire this off. Actually, I can I can wait. I'll put this out. Enters tapped.
Get in for one. Uh, we don't have any anthems. I want to leave up Veto and Dire Tactics, and I'll Dire Tactics at the end of the turn. Yeah, see, I'll, I'll get rid of that. I still net benefit to two tokens. Hot diggity damn. So next turn we could have bounced one. Got in for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Exile the other one. That would have been tough. That would have been tough. So maybe that was just a one turn early premature scoop, but let's run it again. I hope everyone's uh, out there doing rippers. Straight from the bottle. That's how you play. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna scry first. It is a decent card. I don't know what I'm playing against, so I think I want to keep it, and then I'll be able to uh, look for a land, I guess, after drawing this turn two. We just need one more in the, in the hand. The hand, uh... Oh. I think I know what I'm playing against. So let's get this out there so I can play turn three um, Narset. And we shall get a Swamp. Or do we get a white? I think we get a white. Because we'll have... We'll have... Uh, ooh. Mystical dispute? No dispute. Alright. Uh, I'm not ac activating it. I want to look for lands. And I don't want the... Now you draw the veto. Now you draw the veto. Actually, hold on. Let's do this. So I want to leave a white up, so we'll go white and black. And we actually would like both of those. And we can't counter, so blibbity blibbity blop. Uh, if I had the veto in hand, knowing what I was playing against, I would not have played Narset on three. Now we can't draw cards. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pay two life. Because I, I plan on getting down the Elspeth Conquers. I'm gonna use this because uh, I feel like it's gonna be gone. The opponent has to make the decision on whether or not to. This dire tax, dire taxes may be dead in the deck, in in this in this matchup. They may have a bane slayer. They may have a. The dream whatever, dream weaver, dream liquor. 
Dream Drinker. Hexproof going fuck with ya. Going fuck with ya. Showing me up with your stained glass. Got another one. So you didn't draw land? Is that what you're is that what what's is that what's happening right now? And then you're gonna be angry because Elspeth Conquer is gonna make you cost one more. Alright, well then what what was all this what was all this slow rolling? You could have played the land and thought about it. Interesting. Interesting. So you have to play another land. Cost four mana. And what have we got? One, two, three, four. We've got six cards, so we can go ahead and bounce nothing. Draw a card. I think that said two to the top. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, we're actually getting nothing back, so I can actually get this back and hope to draw land. But this is going to make them cost... One, two, three... Well, they put both on top, so let's go ahead and actually return it to our hands. Oh, that's right, I can't draw a card. I'm not too devastated. This is going to be a long, drawn-out game, and I'm hoping they quit with frustration. One top, one bottom. I think maybe they're trying to save two mana, have a, a veto up. Shit. I think I'll get an island. Another one, huh? Hey, I did that too. I totally forgot. Totally forgot. Alright, spells are going to cost more. Man, I could really go. Ah, oh, do I get... This is target creature. It phases out ten turns. Ten turns. So if they do one, two, five. Um, we're on phase two, so six, seven. They're going to have to tap out. So I think we can go one more turn without doing this because we still have Elspeth. But then they can, or Narset, they can cover up Narset and then draw and discard a card. Um, so I think we're safe with getting down Atris. We can keep up Vito. We can 
and start plugging away at, at planeswalkers, or we could just start taking away some of their life. How about that? We've got two betos. We've got our two counter spells, so we've got to make them. Got to make them count. That is for sure. I didn't need another Teferi, and I was hoping that that was something that they didn't want me to have, like a hero uh, a precinct, precinct one, because maybe they don't have a or a thought erasure. So yes, I mean it was a Teferi, and it was. All right, swing and a miss. That's what I like to see. Really want to know those two last cards. Ooh. Yeah, those two. So let's throw it out there. Quit in frustration! Alright, what is that? What is that? Is that two or one? I don't I don't know what how many we did here. Don't I have four I have four of these. Why am I opening them up? Let's do it again! Yeah, to be honest, all I was looking for was Thought Erasure. That's what I really, really wanted. And and or an, another Narset so I could look for a Thought Erasure. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Keep it. Okay. Uh, I know we can toss out Hero and then do Thought Erasure, but I think I'm going to do Thought Erasure because there might be some spot removal. Or there might be a 3-drop. There's some spot removal right there, and that's, that's anything. Um, but we might. That's a lot of dogs. That's a lot of Snow Doge. I'm going to get rid of that. One, two, three, four. I know it makes tokens. That is the thing. It's the only one it makes tokens, and it's going to be gone, not at the bottom of the deck. I really don't want to draw it. Taken, we're gonna be taking some damage. May not win this one. Oh, that's that's good news. That's good news. They missed they missed a land drop. Ah, so we gain some life. Take four, five, six, seven, eight. Or we can get down here. We'll have we'll have a one creature that's gonna get covered up by the banishing light. We'll make a blocker. Oh, baby. We really, really want to draw land right now. 
So next turn, if we don't draw a land, we'll put out um, Elite Guard into Elite Guard. We'll gain some of that life back and hopefully draw a land and get down this Bane Slayer. Didn't draw a land, so let's go ahead and... What does this do when it attacks? Oh, okay. Creature with the plus one counter. Uh, I want to gain some life. We need it. Uh, we're still in trouble. Good news is so they can't play another dog. Oh, and they didn't pump. That's good. We saved three damage. Man! This has first strike, so if we can survive this attack. So what is this? Three, four, five, six. We need to block here. know if this is enough. Is it enough? We'll go to six, but we'll take two, four, six, eight. Yeah, that's not enough. That's not enough. That's just, that's just insult to injury. It's just rude. I would say we're one turn behind on getting that land. Still maybe would have lost to... Yeah, we were one turn behind and we possibly could have kept up a veto, but who knows? Who knows? All right, one more. I think that's two and one. The old placid hippo. Yeah, sure. I mean, we're missing hero. Maybe a thought erasure, but this is fine. It's got lands. That's all you care about. You want to be able to play the game. I don't know what I'm playing against, so... No need to mulligan and look for, for something that I don't know what I need. So if it, That's why I always suggest playing best of three versus best of one. What does this do again? Never an enchanted creature dies. Alright, well then let's uh, go ahead and pay two life and pass a turn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So we'll be able to counter um, an enchantment. And then we can both Kaya. Alright, so they may not be playing an enchantment. How much did that good enchantment cost in Return to Ravnica? Ethereal armor? Maybe it was one white. That'd be that uh, that would have been that would have been good in the Theros block. 
Oh my god. Seems like a weird card to counter, but it's gonna get in for three, and then when I kill it, it's gonna draw a card, so. Next turn, we'll be able to tap and draw a card if we don't draw a land. Maybe three colors. What up? Uh oh. Are they gonna exile that? Or are they gonna save it? Oh. Thought they might save it for the, uh, Right, get that land drop, baby. Get that land drop. Yeah, I'm trying to get deeper to um to a hero. This is gonna be a tough game. They're going wide. What is it? Plus one for what? For each artifact or enchantment. Cool. So I can return that to the hands. We'll take the take the two. Take the five. That escalated pretty fast, huh? No blocks. I can get rid of the, uh... Yep, there we go. Well, we can do both. Sadly, we didn't draw... So if they draw a land, that'll be a big problem. Uh, they can make their creatures better, of course. That's gonna be tough. Let's get rid of all that glitters. Don't need a land. Stay back so they'll send at least the whole army here. They'll probably suit it up. Oh, that's good. Well, they didn't draw land. They didn't attack? That is crazy. This is, uh, this is getting a little tough. I feel like I want a board, board sweep in this now. If I had a board wipe, boom, Snickles. I'll gladly trade one or two creatures for the inevitability of Hero going wide. And then all of these creatures get under, besides the, the Archon, Okay, so they're gonna drop the, um, maybe the Mogi. What's it called again? Yeah, the Favor. Oh no, they can't drop it on that. They can only put it on one of the, the Zombos. Are these enchantments as well? No. Yeah, I'm a little ways away from bouncing my oath with Teferi. Oh, are you coming at me? Two. 
take four. Yeah, I think that's worth it. They're able to get a another creature out of that exchange. Oh, sneaky. Classic removal. And they're leaving up uh, the bounty. Hopefully, hopefully they tap out to play an Archon. I have to get rid of the Ephemia. And right now, it, they're, it, they're, they are well to do by not tapping out, so... They probably want to save a mana. Probably going to wait until they have five. Yeah, they're going to wait until they have five. Sadly, I have no target for this, Elspeths. Okay. Gains indestructible. What was that? What was that one card? Least main lion. Oh, are you coming in? Let's say you can get five in right now. All right, so if I take that, uh, bounce the Kaya, shoot it at the Bronze Hide, maybe that'll be enough for them to use the bounty on it. Or maybe, and then I can shoot down a Femia. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna try it. It's the best I can do. Don't need this to win, but I 
definitely want the life. Um, okay, so. Gained indestructible. When this dies, return it to the battlefield. It's an enchantment. Enchanted creature gains indestructible until end of turn. Okay. Resolve. Say black. Atta boy. Choose the permanent that you wish to keep. Got a human right here. All right, that was a productive turn. Uh, we are now matched board for board. Uh, we have a way to get rid of the Archon. And we are threatening right here. You may cast up three spells from, from among the face-up cards your opponent's own. Boom. So we can go ahead and can't kill anything, but we can get a Femia. We can get this. And we can go ahead and get all that glitters. We don't have an enchantment yet. <laughs> Fear frustration. Uh, maybe it's because we because we have an answer just sitting in our hands waiting for that uh, archon to come down. All right. Well, that's uh, that's that. That's the 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 fun of the deck, and the fun of best of one is just uh, Scoop City over and over again. So yeah, I would uh, highly suggest checking the deck out one more time before we leave just so you can give it a go here. And yeah, so maybe playing around with it, uh, especially if it's a best of three. We've got we've got board wipes here in the sideboard. Uh, it felt like maybe one main board would have been really good, especially since um, we were going to have some troubles with the go wide of that deck, but we the opponent, I think, picked the wrong color when it came to protection, and we were able to, because they were probably afraid of more spot removal, uh, but we were able to then bounce with a white-blue card. So if they chose white, we would have been in a very tough spot. So I think that's how we came ahead. But thanks for joining me. I'll see you.